we're at the green bridge and we're just about to go over it on our bikes and um, I think this could be the Avon again I'm not really sure what river it is but we've traveled about four kilometers more than that probably five kilometers and um, we're just about going to get to there's a monastery down here we don't know if it's deserted or not but we'll just try and film that as well uh, there's no signpost to it so um, yeah we'll just be on our way very soon once Lloyd catches some fish we're going over the green bridge some fish down there I think there's a white bridge down there as well this is a wooden bridge See that there is a herm, not a stork, I think it's a herm we call them. Doing a bit of fishing. <laughs> Memory of Robert Sign 1913 1996. There's quite a view here over Hamilton. Um, up in the groves here. <laughs> Hamilton Groves. Spotted what looks like a Templar cross. We're not really sure, but it looks like a Templar cross there. So, again, maybe they're marking the territory. I don't know. Maybe it's just somebody that did it. Not really sure. But so these are uh, a memorial. This is a first memorial to many of the puissant princes that have actually um, ruled from Charleroi, apparently. Um, got various titles, uh, Earl, Earl of Cambridge, uh, one of them is believed in the 55th year, was in a duel, died in his 55th year, many of them are Prince James and so on, so yeah, probably Mason. Well basically on the entrance to this Chatelot there was the acorns and uh, this is a monument to the Duke of Hamilton and uh, it's in a circle so it's kind of like got an altar here which there's no doubt that it looks as if there's been some action on there there's no doubt about that, that's an actual altar right in the centre of this monument there's no doubt that this is an actual altar um, in the town of Hamilton. So right in the centre there, there's an acorn. So again, um, the sign of the acorn, you see that in the Vatican, which is synonymous to the third eye. So whenever they actually do sacrifices, they actually feed their third eye. So this is definitely an altar, I would say. There's no doubt about this. You can see there is actually real marble columns and uh, don't know how many hundreds of years it's been here and they do love the, the redwood trees of course as well this is up near Chatelot Park in uh, Hamilton and there's the floor uh, to see on which is an occult flower uh, which is meant to basically induce demons and uh, there's some flies around buzzing around this area. Again, uh, most people know about the Duke of Hamilton and his association, I believe, with the Masons. Uh, again, we have a five um, star kind of pentagram there. Um, so, as you can see, there's actually nine steps. So, I'm not sure if that's what that exactly means with the Chateau Little was originally French so going back it might be Swiss our brother Chad Zafratz makes videos about the Swiss so it might be like to do with the Sisters of Isis I'm not really sure there's actually nine pillars as well on this altar there's flies just buzzing all around here you can see that fly there so again there's actually two of these just as you actually walk into this so again flies absolutely everywhere um, and it is raining as well, so there shouldn't really be flies around here. And this is the view at the back. It's basically quite a drop down towards the River Avon there. And uh, 
I'm sure the Avon lady won't be calling at this particular altar. There it is, it's actually called uh, Duke's Monument. It's very, very hard to get to. There's no signpost to actually get here uh, to this place. I, probably they'll just sacrifice some badgers by the looks of it. Look, there's a badger there, so maybe that's what they're up to there. Sacrificing badgers at that altar, possibly. And then this one is a John Craig. Now, this is definitely an Egyptian phallus epitaph. There's no doubt about that. And it seems to be like a holy grail thing or whatever here as well. I'm not sure if that's what it is, but there's another one over here. So I believe that this is like a holy grail thing at the top of this epitaph, I think you call it, which is Masonic. And we just found out that this one is actually a reverend, John McFarlane, who died in 1873. Um, so whether he preached the gospel or not, uh, he's got a Masonic epitaph with a kind of holy grail thing at the top, so to me, it's definitely Masonic, there's no doubt about it.